I'd like to show how to time lock Bitcoin. Uh, by time locking, I mean uh, freezing the Bitcoin funds until a specified time in the future. Uh, time locking has been in Bitcoin for a very long time. Uh, it was introduced in Bitcoin uh, Improvement Proposal 65 in 2014 and added uh, to code base in September 2014. Since then, it was not supported by many uh, wallets. It's been around and there were articles uh, about it on the web and there are some solutions, but uh, these uh, solutions are not uh, totally straightforward. And uh, you need confidence uh, if you want to entrust larger Bitcoin funds to a freezing procedure. So now without further ado, I will show uh, one way of doing it. Operation check lock time verify is of course uh, fundamental and uh, used by programmatic solutions like uh, Lightning Network, uh, but not that much uh, by user interface. Uh, let's see the wallet which supports it uh, via user interface. Choosing mainnet. At this point, I need to enter a uh, Electrum type seed phrase. Uh, it can be obtained, for example, from the Electrum wallet by hitting the seed uh, icon or by some other wallet as long as it supports uh, Electrum type seed phrase. Pasting the phrase here. And the wallet is now synchronized, showing the balance, uh, addresses, and history view uh, information equivalent to what the uh, Electrum wallet is showing. We are not at the point when we can uh, lock our funds. Uh, I chose lock funds from address option. Uh, I entered the amount. 0 0.002 Bitcoin, enter the fee, 0 0.0001 Bitcoin, and uh, freezing time, 6 uh, p.m. It is now uh, 12 to 6. Uh, it will be just uh, 12 minutes of freezing time. Uh, but in real life, you can pick, of course, a uh, uh, long time ahead, a few years ahead, etc. So... So it is 11th of July, uh, 6 p.m. Prepare transaction. I'll store the data shown here. I'll explain it uh, later. And I will broadcast the transaction. Transaction is now sent. It is showing now 0 0.0021 unconfirmed uh, funds being sent. The transaction is now confirmed and uh, our funds uh, appear as if they were uh, gone. Uh, in the Electrum wallet we can see that uh, the USD amount of the funds went from $80 uh, dollars to $11, dollars, so $70 dollars are now frozen. Uh, it's still uh, almost uh, <clears throat> 6 o'clock. Uh, we can try to unfreeze it soon. It is now uh, 5 past 6. We could try to unlock the funds. We need to pick a destination address and choose option unlock funds from our last transaction. This is uh, very easy to fill out. We just enter the destination address for the funds. We enter the original locking time and a fee.
prepare transaction, broadcast transaction, we get an error, unlock time has not arrived yet. You need to wait until the lock time plus around 70 minutes, seven blocks. Yeah, so according to the way uh, Bitcoin network calculates time, which is explained in VIP 113, uh, the time that Bitcoin sees is the average of the last 12 blocks. That's why the time is a bit later than uh, what we expect. So let's wait around 70 minutes and try again. It is now more than 70 minutes uh, past uh, uh, 6 o'clock. Uh, there were uh, around nine blocks produced. Uh, uh, in the previous section, I said uh, that uh, the time uh, taken into account by the uh, Bitcoin network is the average of the last uh, 12 blocks. It is a median. Uh, of course, that was a mistake. It is a median. That's why we need to wait uh, to around seven uh, blocks being produced after the time that we designated so basically after 6 p.m and more, if more than seven blocks are produced then our time uh, will be uh, a proper uh, so we can try to unlock the funds again to unlock funds we go to the history if you find our transaction and choose the option unlock funds here we enter again the destination address, uh, we enter the fee and the time of logging, exactly as it was before, 11th of July, uh, 6 p.m. And we can try to unlock the funds again. Yeah, it was now successful. We, in our history view, we should see uh, our refund transaction, which uh, shows 0 0.0019 uh, Bitcoin uh, being refunded uh, to our wallet. The transaction is now confirmed. Uh, it took a while. We can see that last block took 22 minutes. Uh, but it is uh, confirmed and our uh, balance is now uh, 0 0.0224. It is less than before, but the uh, majority of our funds has been uh, uh, recovered uh, except for the fees paid twice. We are lucky that <laughs> today the fees are quite low, around $3 per transaction. We can also see in Electrum that uh, we ha have back uh, $75 uh, of balance, so we spent around $6 uh, for fees for the two transactions. At the end, I would like to explain uh, also uh, uh, what why we needed the uh, data that I stored uh, during the uh, locking. Uh, the unlock operation was relatively simple because uh, we picked data from the history and used the unlock funds uh, dialog. Uh, the other way would be to uh, start the, uh, the wallet in offline mode. So basically here the wallet is still offline and we can pick the unlock funds option uh, in the offline mode and uh, enter the uh, data here uh, based on the information that we stored, based on the locking information that we stored. So we could enter the data here, uh, click uh, prepare transaction, and this transaction we could uh, copy somewhere. So basically all this could be done in offline mode. So for the unlocking, the online mode is not needed. For locking, it is needed, but for unlocking, uh, it can be done in offline mode uh, if uh, someone uh, doesn't trust the wallet, uh, etc. Also, the unlock funds is uh, available from different dialogues. 
and uh, also from here uh, and uh, from the main window uh, but uh, if you pick the option to unlock from the history view uh, you don't need this information to unlock A small correction uh, if you unlock data from the history view uh, you still need one item of information which is the lock until uh, time so you need to remember the lock until time you don't need to remember anything else so from this information here the only uh, uh, information that you need to remember in such case is the time of uh, locking this one uh, Thank you for watching. Uh, more information about how to access the wallet uh, will be contained in uh, the description. Thank you very much.